It's really fun to watch the bees pollinate and these um, these seed pods you see here are, are, uh, are open pollinated which means I didn't cull any of my plants or anything. This is considered a single because it has an open center like this. These are, these are called the corollas and inside each one of these is um, a, a stigma. There you see it there. I don't know if you can see it but that little Y there that the pollen gets dropped right there and it can turn into a seed. I always wondered how these were pollinated because it seems like it'd be hard to get in there, but they're these little tiny bees or hoverflies that do it. And um, what I wanted to show you is if you grab your um, open pollinated uh, seed heads, you want to just kind of pull them apart like this and look. So what I'm kind of feeling for, because it's sort of a mess here, is I'm feeling for something that's kind of hard and sometimes there's nothing. So um, this one doesn't have any seed in it. So I'm gonna go to the next one. That is not uncommon either, to not find any seed in. But this one here, I can see already that there are seeds in this one. This, and this is great. You wanna, you ideally want them to be about this color. Um, you want them to be kind of fat like that. If you feel it, it's kind of fat. Um, especially with these, but it's kind of interesting of, of these seed heads I pull apart a lot of times I only find one seed. So here's another one from another one I did. And then this one I pulled out as well, but that's a little immature. So you, ideally your seeds would be kind of this dark purple color as opposed to the green. So I'm going to keep going with this one here because this is really fun. These, this is a lot of seed for an anemone. Um, this anemone is called Sandia Brocade and it's hybridized by Sandy Boley in the Pacific Northwest. It's a really pretty anemone. It's like my favorite, I think. And this is a lot of seed in here. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I know it's open pollination, but this is a single. So I expect it to be um, probably single as well, especially with open pollination, because I do have a couple of other singles in my patch. So um, anyway, this is, this is tons of seed because a lot of these, uh, like I said, I was just getting one seed out of. Um, we could do one more and see. Um, but the, that, that is probably all the seed. Oh, one more here. So that was a lot of, that's a lot of seed. A lot of times the seeds are on the outer part of um, the, the disc florette for me. Um, so this one here, I think I'm gonna, it might be a zero. Um, I can kind of tell, but um, I don't feel anything in there, so I'm just kind of pulling it apart. So all this is not seed. All of these are not seed. When I first started um, collecting seed, I wasn't sure what was a seed and what wasn't, so that you want them to look like this, ideally. So here's another one. I'm just going to show you that there are a lot of blanks, even with open pollination where the bees are out there doing all that work for you. Um, they still can't get in there and you can see these are hard to get into. So let's do this last one and see if I can get a seed from that. So again, these were open pollination, no culling all, from all the plants in my yard. And this one too has nothing. So I am really excited. Uh, today I got uh, two, four, six, seven seeds from that. Now. This has a lot of disc centers. All, every one of these that I pull out has the potential to make a seed. Um, if you look at a pom-pom dahlia, all the petals have crowded out the, the seed producing part. And you can see here, this has just one potential for seed. There's only one stigma in here that could possibly make a seed. Oops, I broke it. And then I wanted to show you these um, orquettes. Again, a big open center for the bees to visit. Um, they just come right in. Again, these are open pollination without culling. And then I want to show you what the, what the seed producing center looks like when it's immature. So you can see each of these little um, compartments here, like this, if you just pulled one off, this has the potential to make a seed just that itself, one seed. And so if you counted these, there'd probably be 60 potential for seeds. So I wanna show you the difference between um, a flower that bees can easily um, visit versus ones like the, the anemone I showed you, which is hard. This one probably will have tons of seed and you can see I'm just pulling it apart here. 
and look at all these seed that are just coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's just in like one little section. So all these seeds are just from one little section. These are good looking seed, good color. They have some um, little bellies on them, I call it. But if you, you can see if I pull this seed head apart. So again, this is from an orquette you can get tons and tons of seed. Now your chances of getting a fully doubled dahlia from one of these seeds is not very good. You're gonna be getting mostly singles or thing or, or, um, or, or cats from it. So that's it for today.